What's going on everybody? It's your boy Charles. We're back with another video and today we will be talking about man weed. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs oh. some milk! We're not talking about mine. This is this this came from God. Today we're talking about a brother who's getting man weave dreadlocks and it's a tutorial to teach you how to make your own. I'm a, I'm a thousand percent sure this will be entertaining. Uh, please enjoy this with me. He hadn't had hair for 20 years. That might be a sign. Look, look, guys. If you if you can't grow hair, you know I don't want to. I don't want to tell you what to do with your life and your money, because you know this this wasn't free. Um, I'm just saying, hats hats are twenty bucks, thirty bucks. I'm pretty sure this cost him a rack. It's a lot. He drawing. Look, man. If he got a, if they got to draw your head to give you a hairline, they full blown drawing on this brother's head, man. He get the white. He don't even look happy. Look at his face. He kind of look kind of sad, like. Man, I can't believe I'm really doing this. Look at his face. Look at his eyes, bro. He looked like he regretted this. That brother looked like he's been seeing some things. That brother looked like he was in he was into some thing thing, bro. Just give him a, a hairline. Put his hairline where it needs to be. You should age him up back here and call it a day. Get an Uncle Phil. I think the Uncle Phil could be getting slept on. Because you got Uncle Phil, you got George Jefferson. Them brothers rocked being bald headed, bro. Just be, just own it. Just be proud. But you know, that's just my two cents. I don't you know, I can't tell you what to do with your head, with your skull. I don't wanna tell you what to do with your skull, brother. Man, the way he be looking into the camera, he just <laughs> he be looking like You better be good. <laughs> it's not it's not good, brother. You're bald. You in a barbershop. See, the thing to me is like, the people around you is cooking you. <laughs> they cooking you. I don't know if anybody ever been to a barbershop, but the whole, the main goal of a barbershop ain't really to get a haircut. It's to boost your morale by making fun of the people who ain't got the haircut yet. And going, boy, you look busted. Like, you look dusty. <sighs> you spending five hours at the barbershop getting a weave. They cooking you the whole time. It's people sitting in the corner probably like, what in the, what is they doing to him? What kind of cut is that? <laughs> what kind of glue, what kind of haircut need glue? <laughs> and depending on what stage, like this is a stage right now, they putting paper on this boy head. This boy got a paper head. <laughs> oh, father. This boy got paper on his head. Do right. This looks, this looks like a full blown arts and craft project. It's glue. Is scissors. I mean, you gotta you gotta go to Hobby Lobby to get half of this stuff anyway. Glue, scissors, white a uh, white uh, number two um, Crayola pencil. I'm gonna tell you right now, this don't look professional. I know it is, but it don't look professional. Looks suspect suspicious. So uh, he keep looking up at the camera like this. Man. This better work out. <laughs> It's better be right. <laughs> oh Lord! And hey, look at him looking at the. <laughs> he looking at the head and brush out the dreadlock. <laughs> oh, that first strip, that first lonely strip. <laughs> it's one lonely dreadlock on his head. Oh, oh! Look at him looking at the camera like this might not be what I need to be doing. <laughs> He got one lonely, now he got two lonely. <laughs> All right, so he's finished the haircut. We're at the end, but he still got a spray paint. And for me, to me, at this point in time, it's too many things. You already got the fake hair, you got cotton on your head, you got fabric. I don't know, this, this ain't human hair. I don't know if there's lambs, wool, sheeps, skin. I don't know what you got. He's still spray painting stuff on your head, boy. Why are you letting him do this to you? <laughs> he got hold of the piece of paper. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not funny. Oh my gosh. Just like the male version of not having no edges, I guess. Like, you know, getting my edges back. You gotta get your joints spray painted on. My thing is the first time you sweat, the first time you sweat, the first time somebody asks you a really hard question and you kind of like, uh, and you 
this joint is dripping. It's gonna, ooh, it's gonna ooze all down the side of your joint. This is after picture. The bad part is the after picture, they got it in a bun. You walk into work to be bold enough to not only grow 12 inches of fake hair, but to style it, to put it in a bun. I'm a sock you in your eye. I'm a father. And then not only do you have it in a bun, but your, the edges of your head has been blended with a Sharpie marker. Bruh, I'm gonna say for you gotta go home. You gotta, you, you know what? You gotta take a sick day. You sick. <laughs> he looked like a fake me. He looked like. <laughs> he looked like a fake me. He looked like if somebody dressed up for me for Halloween. <laughs> this is the outfit he put in on. <laughs> well, guys, that concludes the um, the man weave uh, YouTube video review. I personally, I'm not for the man weaves. If God bless you not to have hair, you know, live in it, own it, you know, enjoy it. And you don't also, you don't want the, you know, you don't want to trick the ladies. Okay. You, you don't want to be tricked. Don't trick the ladies, bro. Don't, don't be coming out there, you know, shaking the dreads and then. <laughs> don't come out there shaking the dreads and then. The first time y'all go swimming, you, you come back up out the, you come back up out the water, you bald. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button, bell thing, and I will catch y'all. I'll ca catch y'all on the next video, man.